What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be doing some daily racy around what I think is probably one of the worst chicanes in the game. And I'm going to show you guys why here shortly. But we're here at Daytona Road Course. 10 laps starting off in P4 in the Toyota Supra. Is that a yo? Is that a Supra? As a, that's what basically was the meta car for this race and if you're gonna look at the entire field i think honestly everybody decided to pick the toyota supra because if you did not pick the toyota supra you basically were not going to be able to be in the race as i just don't think anything can compare with this car right now it's just way too quick on the straights and it just corners really well and it's just at this point right now just no downsides for uh this week here around daytona but as we come into the middle part of the first lap, you can see that the third place driver, Schmeck Sloth, ahead of us, gets a, a bit of wheel spin coming out of one of the corners. And that allows us to catch up to him. But although he looks like he was struggling a little bit, I wasn't expecting him to be struggling this much as we make contact with his rear after just getting on the brakes a bit too late. I guess you can see on my part, but um, in my opinion, I just think Schmeck was struggling a little bit there. But off the, off the corner, you can see that he's gaining a little bit of wheel spin. And so do we here, trying to get back onto the oval. And unfortunately, due to us getting the wheel spin there, Grossi right behind us gets a really good uh, momentum here coming off the corner. Gets him the power a lot earlier than we did. Had a lot more speed and had nowhere to go except for our rear. Pushed us out of the way. And unfortunately, we lost that fourth place position. Got knocked down into fifth place. As we now make our way down to the dreaded chicane. Uh, here on the back street and now heading to the chicane on the first lap you got to be very very careful but unfortunately on our end and also for uh, Jeff ahead of us uh, we both took it incorrectly and we actually got hit from behind heading into the corner and we get a half a second penalty after we got hit from behind really couldn't control the car went straight you know through the grass because you know we couldn't really corner or anything we still get a half a second penalty, which made absolutely no sense, but hey, sometimes that's just the way that the penalty system works. And you're actually going to see more and more example of why the chicane is just so bad on this game. And so we continue on, but we lose three positions due to that penalty uh, on that first lap. And we get knocked down all the way to P7 and get stuck right behind uh, TG20 here. As we are making our way now into lap number three. So on to lap number three. TG20 is able to gain an overall take on Godzilla. As we head now into turn number one. Things are getting a little bottled up here. As the train that was basically formed the lap prior. Has now turned into a three car, four car fiasco with us involved. And as we make our way down into the second braking zone. It looks like Buckle just for some reason <laughs> braked really, really early. We really had nowhere to go except for the grass or his rear. And uh, I, didn't, I wanted to avoid making contact with him, pushing him out of the way. So we just took evasive action, went straight to the grass, basically destroyed our corner. And due to that, we lose another position. So it just has not been the best opening couple of laps or a few laps for us. As we've just been having nothing but just issues and issues and issues. So hopefully on the second end of the race, we can turn our luck around. And uh, we could capitalize on either other people's misfortune or we just get a little bit of speed here. But as we go into the chicane, once again, here you can see that everybody ahead of us basically missed it. And a couple of people actually got penalties. So that's going to be very beneficial towards us. As we now make our way down to the line, we get a really good run on Ito. Go for the outside, take a peek on the outside, see if we can make the move work as we break as late as we can heading into turn number one. But unfortunately, we just could not do it. We couldn't get the move done as Ido was able to take a very, very strong inside line. And it actually edges out here. So I was kind of pretty impressed by Ido's move right there. Because I thought I had braked as late as I could. But uh, just could not make the move work. Couldn't get the grip on the outside. And we just had to fall back right back in line in 8th place. And follow this train as we lead our way back into the chicane once again. So... Through the chicane for the fourth time here you can see a lot of people <laughs> took it basically incorrectly it is probably as bad as you could probably take it this chicane and lucky for us finally we're gonna get some good luck on our side as two cars ahead of us ito and buckle both have to serve a half a second penalty and we're gonna be able to gain these two positions here we're gonna be right behind them they go soft thank you very much we go in side of them not in a weird way but somehow we can you know 
I'm just gonna leave it at that. But we go inside of them and we get past both of them and a couple of other guys as they had to make their pits uh, stops here. And we now find our way up into P4. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, well, how come you didn't come into the pits? Well, I thought to myself, well, if these guys come into the pits, I didn't want to fight with them coming out. And uh, we just wanted to get some clean air, try to see if we can put in as quick of a lap time as we can. And we're going to see right now if that strategy worked out for us. As uh, the strategy here for the race was going to be running the hards for about four to five laps and then running the mediums for about five to six laps as a... Uh, Holman in front of us gets demolished from behind from Buckle. And yeah, that's kind of what we were trying to avoid. We were trying to get ahead of all this shenanigans that was happening um, around us because if we can get in front of this train here and just try to pull away from everybody with these fresh medium compound tires, uh, we could build up a little gap here and just see if they fight with each other, push them into or push themselves into a mistake, and maybe we could just pull away here. But Fortunately, the overcut did not work in our favor. We did gain two positions, as I think one or two people ahead did not pit. So uh, it, it, it kind of worked in our favor, but we weren't able to make it fully go into effect. As uh, we now head back into Chicane, and Jeff misses his breaking point. He heads straight to Godzilla. Both of them go off, and we're going to sneak our way right into the middle here, coming off the Chicane. And that's going to be a two-for-one deal right there as we get a really, really great run through Chicane. Able to capitalize on both of them making contact with each other and just force themselves off. And now, somehow, we have found ourselves in P5 after, right before the pits, we were fighting for a P8. And so this is, uh, everything, you know, going in our favor here is now as we're coming down to lap number seven with three, four laps left in the race. But it's still not over here. It's right behind us. There's a little bit of shenanigans going on. You can see in the radar on the bottom right, but... Uh, again, at this point, my objective, or my, yeah, my goal is basically to just pull away from these guys and try to avoid getting taken out. As you can hear right behind us, the screeching of tires. As uh, we're going to look at the replay here, Ito, right behind the train right here, breaks way too late, makes contact with Buckle. Buckle goes into Jeff. Godzilla right behind him misses his breaking point. And all chaos is just breaking loose here, heading into the second breaking, uh, breaking zone. And lucky for us, we were not involved in that. We were just just enough ahead of all that. Where we were able to just avoid all that carnage. And now we just have clean open track. Nobody right behind us either. We could just focus on putting on quick lap times and trying to catch up to TG20 right ahead of us. As you can see now, we're just catching up every single lap. The gap is getting smaller and smaller. As we make our way now onto lap number 10, the final lap here for the race. We have closed the gap here to about a second. And uh, I, I was having really, really good confidence in our pace here. And I'm hoping that we can uh, maybe make up enough time to where when we come out of the chicane, we can be in the slipstream with TG20 and try to go for an overtake right before the line. As it's a very, very famous move here on GT7 uh, around Daytona. But as we make our way through the infield, this is going to have to be as perfect as we can make it because if we can just maximize our pace here and let's say tg20 gets into a little bit of a mistake we can definitely capitalize on that and uh close up the gap just enough so that we can get into that also good slipstream but as we make our way out of the infield section leading our way to the road course it was it was looking pretty promising as he gets a little bit of wheel spin coming off the corner just went a bit wide got the left side compounds or left side tires on the yellow rumble strip kind of upset his car and now we are in slipstream range. All we have to do is just take the chicane nice and easy. Make sure that we don't make too big of a mistake. We go in it slow to try to get a really good exit. And everything went perfect on that time through the chicane. And we might be able to set ourselves up here for a P4. If we could just stay in the slipstream here. As he's trying to move his way up the track. Try to break the toe. And uh, it's not going to work out as he moves back to the inside, tries to break the toe even more. We're going to stay right behind him, get a really great run, get that suck up to him. And as we make a move on to the outside, it's going to be a drag race to the line. And it's going to be a P4 for us, as you can see on the replay right here, how close it was. Literally got it by a bumper. The start finish line was any further up. Probably would not have been able to get that fourth place position, but... That was our race here around the tunnel. So let me know how you guys are doing this week around the race. For me, like I said, it's been an interesting one. That chicane, just absolutely dreadful. And I just do not like the penalty system around there. But 
I don't know, maybe you guys think differently. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying it. If you guys really like the video, feel free to smash that like button. Help us out on the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button down below. And I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.